Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today from Meatless Cookery of 1914, we're going to be making the government sandwich. <laughs> hmm, great name. To cream cheese, we add chopped up green olives, chopped up pimentos, salt, and paprika. Get that all mixed together. Put that on the bread, but we're not quite done. So now we have to cut off the crust. Schmancy. Okay, let's give this government sandwich a go. It is definitely a version of pimento cheese. <laughs> it's actually not bad. Get the sweetness from the pimentos, a little brininess from the uh, olives, a little saltiness. There's of course salt and paprika in it, and then you get the nice uh, cream cheese. It's definitely like some sort of like party or tea sandwich. I do think I want to plus it up just a little. First, I'm gonna add some chopped up chives, a modicum of black pepper, and a little bit of fresh parsley. Okay, let's give this government sandwich plussed up with a little chopped chives, fresh black pepper, and parsley a go. You got the black pepper that brings a bite but isn't really spicy. Goes really well with the cream cheese. Kind of vegetal uh, flavor from the parsley and the little oniony garlic flavor from the chives. And it's all going well with the paprika, the pimentos, the olives, and the cream cheese. This is tasty. I have to admit, when I saw the name government sandwich, I was uh, not expecting much, but this turned out to be a nice tea sandwich or a snack sandwich. Uh, the original government sandwich, I would say is like five and a half. It's pretty good. Plus up with the black pepper, uh, the chopped chives, and the parsley. It's like a six and a half now. It's tasty. Yeah, I'm definitely going to finish that. Um, I'd probably make this again for like a cocktail party or something like that, uh, the plus up version anyway. <laughs> All right, see you tomorrow.